you can use the stereo net as a kind of a protractor to measure the angle between any two lines in any orientations. Here's how you do that. First thing you need is two dots plotted to represent those two lines. So we've got one line that has a trend of 302 degrees and a plunge of 45, and a second line represented by a dot that has a trend of 234 degrees and a plunge of 70. Now to measure the angle between those two lines, the first thing you have to do is spin the tracing paper until both of those dots lie on the same great circle. And I'm just dashing that great circle to make it easier to see. Now we could figure out the strike and dip of that plane, but that's not what we're interested in doing here. Right now what we're interested in doing is counting the angle between those two dots along that great circle. So that angle is 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. The angle between those two lines is 40 degrees.